Hey guys, Nerdy Hatter here. Welcome to another movie review here on the Nerdy Hatter channel. I am fresh off of watching Spider-Man Homecoming. And to spoil my score at the end, this movie was, for the lack of a better word, amazing, spectacular, the ultimate Spider-Man movie. I I love this movie. I love I was smiling every fucking second of it. I couldn't stop smiling because it felt like I was watching the comic books I know and love. The Spider-Man I know and love up on the big screen finally. I liked Toby, I liked Andrew Garfield. I liked them for certain reasons each. I didn't I never liked the entire performance of each of them though. Toby was a good Peter Parker and Andrew was an, a good Spider-Man. But Tom Holland is an amazing both. He masters being Peter Parker and Spider-Man and the duality of those two identities in this character. And it was incredible to see on the screen. And to have this Peter Parker, this Spider-Man, be the one in the MCU makes me one of the happiest comic book fans out there ever. It's, it's amazing to watch. I, I loved it. Uh, this entire video is basically going to be me gushing about it. Uh, I had very few negatives about it. Um, Maybe a couple of plot points were a little too convenient, stuff was pieced together a little too well in a couple of scenes, but other than that, the entire movie was just so good. It was great. I loved it. Um, Tom Holland as Spider-Man is the best part of this movie. I loved him in Civil War for the 10 minutes we saw him in. He was my favorite part of that movie. To have a whole movie with this amazing Spider-Man, <laughs> that, that was funny. Uh, totally by accident too, by the way, um, was just... Oh, it was I was in utter awe watching him on the screen uh, One thing I had a problem with in Civil War was how gummy and CGI the suit looked they fixed that in this movie It looks Incredible it looks beautiful on the screen This is one of my favorite spider-man suits just because it's so classic yet so unique at the same time It very much evokes the Ditko uh, era of spider-man and it looks insane and once again the expressive eyes they kill me I love them it was just amazing to see. I'm, I think I'm going to be saying amazing a lot in this review because everything was so amazing. Um, another thing that was amazing is uh, how this actually felt like high school. It felt very John Hughes-esque. I love the 80s. I love John Hughes movies. My favorite movie is The Breakfast Club. And this movie takes from that movie and other 80s classics so much. There's even a scene where they, uh, for shot for shot, evoke a scene from one of my favorite 80s movies. I'm not going to spoil it because that will spoil the scene, but once you guys see it, you'll know what I'm talking about. And it is hilarious, and it hits so well. I, I loved it. Um, and it feels, like I said, it feels like high school. These kids don't feel like 30-year-olds shoved into a high school where we're forced to believe they're teenagers, kind of like in Toby and Andrew's Spider-Man movies. They look and act and feel like actual high school children. And it's great and a breath of fresh air to actually feel like I'm looking at a real high school when I'm watching a Spider-Man movie. We skipped over high school with both Spider-Men. Uh, you have very few scenes with uh, the high school and Andrew's movies and with Toby. He was in there for five minutes of his first movie and then he graduated, which kind of skips over the best part of Spider-Man's life. And it was just, it was great seeing him have teenage problems, go through teenage angst, Going going to homecoming dance, going to the uh, decathlon, just interacting with his fellow classmates and seeing him day to day at school. They balance the Spider-Man and the Peter Parker uh, uh, screen time in this movie really, really well. You get a nice chunk of both. You get a lot of high school stuff and it feels great to see. Uh, his best friend Ned Leeds is awesome. He's hilarious. Uh, Jacob Batalon plays him and he's just, he's hilarious. Um, what else? Uh, Zendaya. I love Zendaya's character of Michelle. She's just a grungy badass, and she just doesn't give a shit about anything, and you see that, and it's really, really cool to see on screen. Oh, another massive, massive plus for this movie that I never thought I'd say. We finally have another good MCU villain besides Loki and maybe, uh, I can't remember the character's name in... Uh, Winter Soldier, I will put his name right here, the character and the actor who plays him, because I don't remember. But Tom Hiddleston's Loki has been like the pinnacle of uh, MCU villains, and everyone else has faltered. That's the MCU's biggest problem, is their villains. I don't really mind. I love the movies regardless. But 
Michael Keaton as the Vulture is an amazing character. His, uh, da -da -da -da, I can't think of the word. His, ah, his motivation. His motivation for being a villain, it works. You totally understand it. And the way this movie deals with time and the MCU and the MCU timeline is pretty fucking cool too. Seeing how Peter Parker fits into this greater MCU, uh, I almost called it the MCU universe, when there's universe in the MCU, Marvel Cinematic Universe. I'm sorry, I'm rambling. But seeing how he fits into the MCU is just incredible. And seeing, uh, this isn't a spoiler, uh, Kevin Feige and John Watts confirmed this a while ago. But the little kid you see in Iron Man 2 with the Iron Man helmet that Iron Man saves, that's Peter Parker. It's just incredible. I know that's tacked on later on than he wasn't even in the MCU when that movie was made. But it's just awesome seeing that from the very beginning and being able to see that Peter Parker has been in the MCU the entire time and how he just interweaves through everything is amazing. I can talk about this movie all day, I absolutely loved it, but I don't want this video to run too long. So if I had to give this amazing movie a score, what would it be? Drum roll please. Brrr, uh, boom! 9.5 out of 10. It's It was damn near perfect. No movie's perfect, as I always say when I do these reviews, but it's damn near perfect. And for you guys who are probably thinking, Oh, he never gives a low score to any movie. Because that's I don't go to see bad movies. If I hear a movie's bad, I don't see it, or I just wait a really long time to see it. This movie was amazing and deserves that freaking score. It was amazing, incredible, fantastic. All of the amazing, fantastic words. It is those things. I love this movie. I can't talk about it enough. If you guys have seen it, tell me if you love the movie down in the comments below. If you hated it, be kind, and you can tell us in the comments below, too. As always, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I can't wait to make another one for you guys. I love making these videos for you. And as always, Nerdy Hatter out.